Hey all, how's it going? Uh, today I'm going to show you how to route your Universal Audio Console and Logic into OBS without using all that Soundflower and all these other apps to do that. We got such an intricate and a powerful tool which is called Universal Audio within the console that you can route things anywhere you want. So let's check it out. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, comment below, and share this video and support this channel. You know, for a while, it was such a pain for me to make uh, videos within my desktop computer and show you all the screens and stuff like that. So what I used to do is take out my other laptop and route all the audio into a, a logic session and do these videos. But, you know, why go through all that complex thing? And I figured it out. Like, I have a mixing console, which is from Universal Audio, which is the UA console. And it's such a powerful tool. Like, why do I need to route and get a third-party app to be able to route things going in and out of OBS? So I, I figured out a way of how to do it. So let's get to it. Okay. Now, uh, just to give you a quick advice, set this up before you launch... OBS, right? Set up your Universal Audio Console, which is right here. And let's open up Logic over here. And your Logic prior to opening up um, OBS, okay? The reason being is I've done this before um, when I had OBS opened up and I changed settings and OBS would glitch with the audio. So I realized that you got to do the settings in Universal Audio and your logic settings in there or the routing in there prior to o launching OBS. Once you launch OBS, then it's fine, okay? So on your Universal Audio console, which is right there, you go to the settings button, okay? Bottom left corner, and you go to your IO matrix. Now, in general, your IO matrix by default will start lining up according to your, um, according to your hardware unit. It'll go from A line one, a line two, A line three, A line four, five, six, and so on. However, inputs you have. So right now, obviously, I have here 32 inputs with two different uh, outboard units. But what you want to do, because OBS recognizes anything stereo or channels one, two, what I realized uh, from any system, right? You don't need to go into your audio MIDI setup, which is this guy, okay? Before you have to do that with... Uh, let me see, audio devices. For example, I had that routed with loopback audio or Soundflower or whatnot. But like for me, you might be doing the same thing. I usually configure my speakers to virtual one and a virtual two on my console. And the reason why I bring this up because it's super helpful to have all your audio running into one of the channels on the console. If you have your a virtual one, and and two set to stereo left and right from within your audio MIDI um, output on um, on your computer system, it's not going to route out over here. Now, the reason why I do that is because I route things out into one of the channel slips, and then I can put some processing on it if I want to. But anyway, so the reason why I brought that up is you don't need to worry about your audio MIDI setup when you're routing your Universal Audio Console and your Logic into OBS. You can keep everything as is. The only thing you need to go in, again, going back to the bottom left setting over here, one and two, you want to change, which used to be analog. If you look at it here, it used to be A line one and channel two was A line two, but I've changed those because we want to monitor a stereo out and input as one and two into OBS. So what I did is I go monitor and I change it to uh, monitor left, right, and then channel two into monitor right. Okay, so that's great. So what's happening right now, as you can see, my mic levels are, are going on, right, which is great. Now you got to go to your logic session or any logic session. And remember to change it back when you're not doing videos. If you had some kind of setup that you wanted to do before, example, this is a setup over here. Uh, for drums and you need to go to your preferences your audio preferences okay if you're just using universal audio as your a to d d to a conversion and nothing else let's say um, and your output device is universal audio 
as is input device universal audio thunderbolt and this is how i use it right now the key factor here is the io assignments and the reason why i bring this obviously and here you need to set this up as your output stereo output like probably most of you have that if you don't use virtual and um, <clears throat> you know but when you go back to your sessions and you have things set up like myself like show media output on, uh, on, the, on on your system, on your on your Mac, I have things routed out through a virtual, which is my output 35 and 36, right? I had to change this to stereo output, okay? Once you get that going on, then you're golden, all right? And then you launch OBS, which is obviously already launched over here. I know you're gonna see all that lovely mirroring effect. And then you go to your input capture card and you're gonna get a menu over here. And you just choose universal audio. Done. And there we go. So you got my channels. This is my mic. You can see the levels happening over here. Right? Now if I play music from Logic. There we go. It's playing through it. Right? Now one thing I want you to bear in mind is your leveling for OBS. It's not the same as when you mix. So a good idea to to do something is if you go into your logic session you go to your stereo output or you go to your mix window and your master fader let me bring these back to stereo you have your stereo output over here where you can put processing and whatnot and then you have a stereo uh, output vca which is my master i usually turn this down accordingly to what the levels read on obs like example here maybe i should turn it down to 10 10 because i don't want things to be peeking in there or distorting or clipping see i'll be talking and playing the music so if i'm talking and playing the music let's see where the lines hit on the meter right so example on my right channel it's clipping a bit so what i'll do very simply put okay i'm going to turn the master down a bit more say about minus 13 some db let's look at it that way so now the levels are healthy well, not really, obviously, because what I'm playing right now is, is drums raw, raw drum track. So I'm going to bring this down again a bit more. Okay. And now you can hear me and hear the drums and everything. So now the levels are healthy. I'm going to stop that for a second. Uh, now you're going to say to yourself, well, the levels are pretty low. I can't hear, but that's fine. Because if you're editing this video or any video per se, uh, you can raise up the gain if you're using um, an edit suite like Premiere or Final Cut Pro. You can raise the gain from there, but you don't want it clipping. So if it's not clipping, that's good, and you can push up the volume according to what streaming platform or wherever wherever uh, medium you're going to play it on. Does that make sense? And that's it, folks. That's how you route everything out into uh, OBS. And what you just saw right now, you can hear my logic, you can hear my microphone, and uh, whatever's been playing over here and uh, yeah i hope you guys uh, found this episode helpful you know routing to obs we're all making quick videos at home or you know tutorials or whatnot which is a good creative tool and obs is free which is great for that um so if you got universal audio interface and logic uh this is how it's done with universal audio and logic i'm not too sure of how other interfaces react or uh, different DAWs. I presume the DAWs is going to be the same concept. And I presume if uh, any other company besides Universal Audio that have their own uh, external, like let's say console or mixer, it should apply to the same rules. Uh, I'm not sure. You'd just have to look into it. But I know this works with Universal Audio and Logic. So uh, yeah, don't forget to comment below and share this video if you found it helpful subscribe as well and if there's any other questions you know what to do i'll see you guys later bye